everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Emily. I created Definite Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you did, I'm going to tell you why I was so exhausted in the last video about hearing fatigue. So stick around to the end of the video for that answer. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more awesome hearing loss related content for you. Today, I'm going to talk about cookie bite hearing losses. What is a cookie bite hearing loss? Imagine an amazing, scrumptious, perfectly baked cookie that has a bite out of it. Now this bite is going to look like a U shape. And this U shape is manifest on the audiogram of a person who has a cookie bite hearing loss. This U shape occurs between 500 to 2000 Hertz. This is the frequency tone range of sound for music and speech. So people with a cookie bite hearing loss have difficulty understanding speech. Cookie bite hearing losses are a type of sensory neural hearing loss. This means that this type of hearing loss is less common than age or noise induced hearing losses. A sensory neural hearing loss is a hearing loss in which there is damage to the inner ear or auditory pathway to the brain. I have a bilateral, which means two-sided, genetic sensory neural hearing loss. Sensory neural hearing losses are most likely due to genetic causes. They can be manifest at birth or progressive over time. Genetic sensory neural hearing losses make up for the most of the cookie bite hearing loss cases. In the rare case, an acoustic neuroma, a benign tumor, can also cause a cookie bite hearing loss. So because of this U-shape on the audiogram where speech takes place, it's really difficult for people to understand speech if they have a cookie bite hearing loss. So what are the treatments for this? For mild cookie bite hearing losses, treatments can be as simple as making sure that people are facing you when they talk, turning up the volume if someone's listening to a TV or a music program. But in my case, the best treatment for my sensory neural cookie bite hearing loss is hearing devices or hearing aids. I love my hearing aids. Hearing aids are incredible little mechanical devices that can listen to sound, filter through all the tones that come through, and adjust the volume of the sounds where I am deficient. Check out my audiogram. You'll notice that my right ear has a more significant U-shaped cookie bite hearing loss than my left ear. And also, my hearing loss is rated as moderate to severe. That is another reason I'm very grateful for hearing aids because I already can't hear very much. And in addition to having the cookie bite hearing loss, speech becomes even more difficult to hear for me. So hearing aids definitely increase my ability to hear and understand what is going on. They don't solve all of the problems, but they help me hear so much. And boy, do I love them. So how would you know if you have a cookie bite hearing loss? The best way to find out would be to visit your audiologist. They would conduct a hearing test or an audiogram and they would chart your hearing as you saw on my audiogram. It wouldn't look the same because all ears and hearing levels are different, but if you have that U shape in the 500 to the 2000 range, then you have a cookie bite hearing loss. Do you have a cookie bite hearing loss? If so, I would love to hear in the comments below. If not, what type of hearing loss do you have? I would love to hear in the comments below. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to share why I was so exhausted in my hearing fatigue video. The reason I was exhausted is because so much has been going on lately. One, I work an eight to five job. I actually love my job because it's a results only work environment, which means if I get the work done, great. If not, then I gotta get it done. I can't get off early and I have gotta make sure I put in the hours, which is like any other job. But we've just had a lot of things lately that I've had to work on and it's felt long, one. And two, Joel and I have been looking for a home and the housing market right now is absolutely just crazy. Like houses are going for so much more than they're worth and it's been really hard to find a home. And so I just got kind of like, just really wanted to find a home. We had someone contact us about a property that was not 
on the market. And we were so excited. It was perfect. It fit everything we wanted from like the little things of like dishwasher, washer, dryer, like parking. It had a garage. Just everything was perfect. And the HVAC had been replaced recently. The electrical, the property was in excellent condition. And so we got it under contract and we put in the earnest money and we were so excited. And then we learned that there was a third person on title that we did not know about. And that person did not want to sell the property. And so the seller had to withdraw the contract and we didn't get that house. And so I was so sad. So we went from being so excited because we were going to get the house of our dreams to not having it. And over that course, I lost sleep because I was so excited. And then I lost sleep because I was worried that we wouldn't get it. And then we got it and then it disappeared. And so it was an extremely emotional week. So between that and work and a bunch of other things and projects that I've been working on, I was so tired and it's been hard to hear and focus and understand. And so I was definitely experiencing dream fatigue. So I took a nap. I rarely take naps and I'm taking time to just relax and enjoy what we do have because I just am really feeling so grateful that you know what? Like we are good where we're at right now and something better will come along. I just know it will. There you have it. Now you know why I was so exhausted in my last video. I hope you are all doing well. I hope that things are going well for you. If there's anything or any highlights or lows that you wanna share, I would love to hear in the comments below so that either I can cry with you or celebrate with you. That's it for today, though. I look forward to making my next video. Have a great day. Bye.